Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture of, or a drawing of Sasquatch, and they can't uh, figure a couple things out. They've actually sent me two logos and, or two graphics, and this one's, the other one's inverted. I wouldn't mess with this. This is for a bitmap. This is incredibly sharp. It's a little fuzzy. That would probably actually engrave. But we're going to reduce it in size to make Corel, and you can always bring it back. So make it a little bit easier for Corel. It's less than three. We're going to set our nudge factor on four. Uh, pet P, I'd set these at your duplicate distance at zero, zero. You'd be a lot happier in the long run. <clears throat> but we're going to trace the bitmap, outline trace clip art. It's going to take just a few seconds. And it doesn't, it doesn't have a white background already, but you can see some lines in it. So when we nudge this over, this is our vector. You see how much sharper the lines are? That would actually engrave. I've always reduced those, taking those lines out. You can't see them now, but look at when we move it. See the lines that are in there? Uh, you know, it, if they don't engrave, I'm going to actually have to try that sometime. Uh, I've always removed them. There's quite a few in this drawing. But you can see the difference in your bounding box between there and there and this one because you don't have any. There's something there, but it's just not showing up. So we could try making a duplicate of that. And we can left-click, right-click, and you can see all the lines. I really don't really... Totally, I'm going to take the yellow box away. I totally don't have ever figured out what they actually are. I don't know if it was on the person that drew it. So if we go to object and group and ungroup it, you can select, go up to object and break the curve apart also, because you can just get one line. And you can go through here and just delete these one line. There's two ways you could do it. You could do it with the shape tool and then encompass the nodes and it will not get the other one. And, you know, some of them might even be part of the drawing, but you have to be a little careful. Uh, the pick tool is just as effective. Um, the only reason sometimes I do it with the shape tool is uh, uh, in case I try to accidentally touch something else. Now, my next question is, now that we've gotten rid of this, can we get it back to those colors? You see, there's like three of them on top of each other. Because we need to get that black part of the face. There's even one that goes down. I don't know if it was the way somebody drew it, and just from side to side, or it might have something to do with the way Corel traces it. And we could actually try tracing it with a lower... Um, you know, not as much detail and see if it would not take that away. I'll try to do that before we finish this video. See, like some of those might even be part of the drawing. Whoop, you don't want to do that because there's your outline that we're going to fill in with black. And that's going to be the key. And so when we're doing it like this, once you started taking away the lines, I think you were going to have to take them all away so that the <clears throat> when we fill it in with the smart fill tool it doesn't hinder it i think we've almost got them all it just wouldn't in the natural drawing wouldn't have any lines in it see there's like a double line on top of each other now what i would also do is these other lines are pretty thick so I would maybe select them all and see they're one point, one point, point one seven six. I'd make them a hairline. That made them a little bit thinner because now when we fill in with the smart fill tool, and of course use black, uh, your your uh, area is going to be more defined because the smart. This is going to take a little bit of time because Corel's having to look at all of those 
little facets. But as you can see, well, there's our here's our original. They look almost identical. Um, you know, but mine is going to be a little sharper, and or the new one. See, there's part of the the smart tip fill didn't get into, so you could either fill that in or leave it. You know, just not. That's a pretty cool drawing. Looks like somebody just took somebody's pencil work and digitized it. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.